Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you a dish that I make at least once a week, almost every week actually, for my kids. They love it. It's simple, it's easy, it's quick to put together. Um, I make it, this is actually called sriracha chicken. It's made using the ever so popular sriracha sauce and I like to get an organic version of it. It's kind of cleaner, has fewer bad ingredients in there. So get your favorite kind of sriracha sauce. I'm making it with chicken um, drumsticks which are pretty easy to find. There's no added oil to this, so it's pretty healthy, really easy. Check out, um, look for my uh, vegetable fried rice recipe that's also coming up. It's gonna be either right after this or right before it, so look out for it, because I serve it with this, and it kind of gives you sort of like a um, Chinese food flair or type of thing. So you're gonna need some sriracha sauce, you're gonna need a little bit of ketchup, salt, cumin powder, garlic powder. You, this recipe is really for chicken that has the bone in. You're going to want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that way because it, it, everything moves so quickly that you know you won't even believe. So I'm going to use, this is a 16 ounce bottle, I'm going to use half of this, so 8 ounces for all this chicken. This makes a big huge batch. It's about 15 drumsticks or so. And then I'm going to use a little bit of ketchup. I have the measurements direct on my website. I measured it out actually because usually when I make this I just throw it all in a pan and I put it in the oven and I thought you guys are going to need to know exact measurements. So I did measure it out for you and it's of course always as usual on the website www.demetrisdishes.com. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt. I'm going to do e each side so that way it's easy. Some cumin powder. I love cumin powder on chicken. Anytime I make chicken, I always use cumin powder. It really adds a nice earthy flavor. And then some garlic powder. I think the measurement is like about three teaspoons or something like that. But really, use as much or as little as you like. Then I'm just going to flip over the sides of my chicken. And I'm just seasoning the other side with uh, salt, cumin powder, and um, garlic powder. It really doesn't get simpler than this. This is going to have tons of flavor. I'm just going to mix this all up. I'm also going to put a cup of water in here so that way when we're done roasting this, it'll have a really nice sauce. You don't want all of the liquid to evaporate because then you'll hardly have any of that really nice sriracha sauce left in there. Of course, you could do this in a big bowl if you wanted to, but if you've been watching the show long enough and you know me, I really am not a fan of um, washing extra things than uh, whatever's already needed, so I do everything in the pan that I'm baking it in but you're the king or queen of your kitchen, so you do whatever you want. If you have somebody washing the dishes, go ahead and pull out a big bowl and marinate this. But I'm just gonna pop this in the oven and I'm gonna let it bake for about, total it's gonna take about an hour and 15 or an hour and 20 minutes. Halfway through, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take this out of the oven and, and flip the side and kinda of gather up some of the sauce and just pour it on top again and then put it back in the oven and bake it for the remaining um, time. But I will show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. Okay, so my sriracha chicken drumsticks are completely ready. They came out of the oven about 10 minutes ago and I just let them rest a bit. The best thing about cooking drumsticks is it's really hard to overcook them. So it's not like one of those things that if you happen to overcook them, it's gonna be dry or anything like that. That's why I love using these. So look at them, they're nice and beautiful. The sauce has adhered to them and they got really nice color. And make sure you check out this recipe too. I, it's kind of like the, these two go together. My vegetable fried rice, which is super simple to make, and um, it should be up. If it's not up already, look for it. It'll be up right after this recipe. I'll put some rice on my plate and a piece of chicken. And I definitely want some of that sauce. The link for for this recipe will be in the description box down below. It takes you directly to the website. All the exact measurements are on there. Really simple. 
and easy. I love to hear what you think, so post comments down below and let me know. If you made this, share pictures with me on social media. I'm on Instagram and on Facebook. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Subscribe so you don't miss any other recipes. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye, everyone.